Safety. <laughs> So that was an interesting afternoon. You might have seen fairly early on, this guy came flying towards me, let him have it, flew into the tree, and uh, yeah, I just sort of finished him off, but uh, yeah, nice bit of ferret food there. I won't be eating him because, to be honest, um, we've got a uh, pigeon coming out of our ears ever since the, uh, the sort of harvest and stubble season um, this year. So we've got so many, but the, the ferrets will love that because there's lots of protein and fat and it's really cold at the moment. So they'll enjoy that, you'll check that out in a moment or two. And then as I went further on, I'm walking through some heavy undergrowth and uh, I saw this guy and I saw him go and hide so I just sort of snuck up on him and he finally did bolt and yeah, let him have it, nice beautiful cock pheasant so that is going to be some good eating. And then as you saw, after I shot him, as I was approaching to go and pick him up, I had a hen flew up but I just didn't get the safety off and I was just like Ugh! I just couldn't, just couldn't shoot it. So that was quite annoying, that was quite frustrating, but you know, these things, these things happen. At least I've got the one, so that's better than nothing. But what did happen that was amazing was I got some other undergrowth that I like to walk through looking for pheasants. Now I don't know if this will have come out on camera very well or not, because I just had my head cam on, but I managed to bolt um, a roe deer, and uh, it was a doe, and uh, yeah, it bolted, ran, out, ran across the field ahead of me. And then I just walked a little bit further on, and then another one bolted and went out. Now the reason that's really good news is because I haven't really seen these deer around for really a few years, ever since the old guy, who you may have seen in previous videos, moved into the wood. Now about six months ago he's moved out of the wood, and I think he's now in a caravan down the road, and because of that the deer are all coming back, so I'm hoping I can knock some of them down. So, you know, watch, watch this space really. Another news, um, now this is a bit weird because basically You'll probably find this video is a bit late compared to my last one, and there's a very good reason for that, and that is because my internet got cut off, and it's it's a nightmare. You know what it's like. You're phoning India, you're trying to sort all this stuff out, and you know they're saying, "Oh, your modem's broken," because I've got a open reach modem and an Apple router, and they're like, "Oh, your modem's broken." I'm like, "I don't think it is." I bought a, uh, a, a another router. It didn't, it didn't work either, so I'm just like, "Yeah, this is definitely a problem with the line." But then you have to, I have to renew my contract to get them to send me a new hub, and then they get the new hub, and then they're like, "Okay, yes, we will agree to send an engineer out," and they're coming on like Monday. So, yeah, hopefully this video will go, get up fairly, fairly soon. But it's been a, it's, a, it's like having your arm cut off, if I'm honest, not having any internet. But in other news, because I will get something else out this week, hopefully, because I'm doing something tomorrow with Tom. So. Again, watch this space. But in other news, over Christmas, it's going to be a bit tricky because I don't know what it's, what, how many videos I'm going to be able to put up, only because I'm going to South Africa. And I will be taking my laptop. I am staying with family. So in principle, I should be able to knock out some videos. But I am going to be very busy, so I don't know kind of how it's going to pan out. But what will definitely happen is I'm going to get some amazing footage. I'm not going there particularly to hunt. Um, although I am going on safari and um, I am going to well, do lots, lots of things, really. So there should be some good, good footage. I mean, I may be able to do some pistol shooting while I'm over there as well. So that will be good. And I want to also investigate um, the problems they've got over there a little bit as well. Because, um, believe it or not, the Afrikaans are on the verge of being genocided. And uh, the economy is also tanking in South Africa now because they've basically started seizing farms and murdering farmers and because of that all the foreign investors have left and the you know it's typical socialism basically and the economy is just really really struggling and you know you've got all these people who used to be like 
teachers and doctors and things like that and they're now living in shanty towns so yeah i may investigate that a little bit if i can because yeah that's something i'm quite interested in so you may you may be interested in that too i don't know but anyway i as i said you know we'll have to see kind of how it pans out so just please please bear with me and of course don't forget to become a patron you guys are just amazing and i love you and if you're here i would just give you a hug because you're all of you are amazing and you know if you want to become a patron then just sign up don't think about it sign up and you'll get to go in the credits at the end as well anyway let's go and feed the ferrets all right i've got the night vision on hopefully that's going to work hello yeah, i think it's working all right now it's interesting because arthur we've got a great system for him because we feed him in this hutch now they have to go through that little sort of hatch there Oi. Don't escape. They have to go through that little hatch there, you see, in order to get in. But as he gets really fat, he can't get through the hole. And in fact, he might even be struggling with that right now. <laughs> so he has to sort of starve and get thinner. And the thinner he gets, you know, as soon as he gets thin enough, he can get through to some food again. So it works quite well, really. It's a sort of automatic dieting system. Oh, yes, and now they're trying to pull the pigeon into the run. That is not going to work. Anyway, I'm gibbering on. I hope you enjoyed that. Keep watching.